to explain the dangers. Kelly? Albert, radon causes an estimated 21,000 lung cancer deaths in the United States every year, but it's simple and inexpensive to make sure you don't become one of those statistics. Radon is actually the first leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers and the second leading cause of lung cancer in, in anybody, even including smokers. Similar to carbon monoxide, radon is impossible to detect without testing. Very key element is radon is odorless, colorless, and tasteless. So the only way of knowing if you have radon inside your home is to test. It's very hit and miss. You can have a housing development and one house be have high levels of radon and nobody else in that development have any radon at all. Radon is a radioactive gas that comes from the natural decay of uranium in soil. As the picture shows, it enters a home through the cracks and water. And as West Virginians, there are other causes for concern. One of the things that we have to be concerned with here in West Virginia is coal mines, also gas wells, because these are fissures that we're making in the earth, and the deeper that they are, the more the radon gases can come up and can cause problems. And not just in homes. Most people spend only part of their day at home and the other half at work or at school. It is recommended that all buildings be regularly tested. You read the instructions, follow the instructions, put the test out. It's a 48-hour test. There's actually charcoal inside of here that'll absorb the radon, and then you seal it back up, and then even give you a self-addressed stamp envelope, pop it into the envelope, to send it to the lab, and then the lab will send you those results back. So it's that simple. There is something you can do about radon, and we'll have more on that later this week. Head on over to WBOY.com for more information on radon. For 12 News, I'm Kelly Rippon. Back to you, Albert.